what's going on print fam? Welcome to the Print Life Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to prep and coat a screen. I'll also share some tips and tricks that hopefully make it easier for you to pick this thing up. Before we start the coating process, we want to make sure that our screen has been thoroughly degreased. Wet both sides of the mesh. Then grab your degreaser and spray all along the perimeter of the screen printing frame. We have two scrub brushes. One is designated to scrubbing the ink and all that junk off of the aluminum frame. The other is designated to actually scrubbing the mesh. Start by scrubbing the ink off the frame. Scrub the outside perimeter and then hit the outside edge. Once that's done, you can grab your dedicated mesh scrubbing pad, apply your degreaser to the mesh, and then lightly scrub both sides. Flip the screen over, and do the opposite side. I like to let the degreaser sit for 20 to 30 seconds, just so that it fully removes anything stuck in the mesh. After that, grab your sprayer and rinse that sucker down. Once I'm done rinsing and degreasing, I'll hold the screen up to the light just to make sure I got all the little spots of emulsion out of the mesh. I missed a few right there. Some areas on the mesh will have really stubborn emulsion that requires you to put the pressure washer on jet to get that stuff out of there. If you leave emulsion spots in the mesh, when you go to expose the screen, more than likely your image will be ruined because that hardened emulsion will be somewhere that you don't want it to be. So take a few extra seconds and prep properly. Now that we've degreased the screen, we want to make sure that it thoroughly dries before we apply any emulsion to the mesh. If you're in a rush, you can use an air compressor, spray the water out of the crevices, and then stick the screen out in the sun for a few minutes. It'll be more than dry enough to coat. While the screens are drying, let's take a second and talk about scoop coaters. This scoop coater is in great shape. Unlike this coder, which is a total shit show. First thing you'll notice is the edge has tons of dried emulsion. If when you go to coat your screen, you're getting a light line through the coated surface, that means that you have dry emulsion stuck to the edge. All you're gonna do is wet the coder and apply some form of emulsion remover. In our case, we're gonna use our dip tank. Let the coder sit in the dip tank for three or four minutes. After that, you should be able to pull it out and use a scrub pad to buff that dried emulsion off of the edges of the coater. If it doesn't come off the first time, rinse and repeat, and eventually you'll get all the emulsion off the coater. Another issue that this coater has is it has a ton of huge chips along the coating edge. The chips will create thick beads of emulsion along the mesh as we coat, and those beads are really difficult to expose, especially with like fine details. In some cases, you can take some high grit sandpaper and buff the edge evenly, and you may be able to take it down enough to where the chip is, is like inconsequential, in which case you can continue to use it. But in most cases, if there's a chip in the edge, it's trash, get rid of that one, buy yourself a new one, and take better care of it. Now let's get to coating our screens. Fill the coater about halfway with emulsion. We want to start coating on the flat side of the screen. Hold the screen almost vertical like this, and place the coater on the mesh an inch or so up from the bottom edge. Tip it up slowly and the emulsion will start to move towards the mesh. When the emulsion just touches the screen, apply a firm pressure and pull the edge smoothly up the mesh. Tip the coater back and let the emulsion fall away from the screen. When the bead is clear, pull up another inch and then pull the coater away. Spin the screen and repeat. When we're done coating, I use my finger to scrape the unused emulsion back into the container. Don't forget to thoroughly clean your scoop coater and put it away for safekeeping. Now we can place the screen in the rack flat side down. We let it dry this way so that the bulk of the emulsion moves to the flat side of the screen. A thicker stencil on the flat side of the screen will lay more ink onto the substrate we're printing. Keep that in mind. Oh, and one last thing. You need to let your screens dry in a dark, dust-free environment. And that's a wrap on coating screens. 
Next time I'm going to show you how to burn and expose a screen properly. Uh, in the meantime, make sure to like, subscribe, and then ding the bell so that you're notified when we upload. Take care of yourselves, Print Fam. Peace out.